What is going on guys? It's been a long time with one of these videos, but today I'm gonna to be riding my Suron. Um, I just posted a video or two on my TikTok and one video on YouTube about the Suron when I was just kind of riding. But today I'm just gonna ride the Moto Track here at Hogback Hill. And I kind of want to do this video just to kind of show you guys what a really good setup, just what a really good uh, setup for your Suron is. I mean, as it is, it already is pretty good stock. So, but I'm just gonna do a quick little rundown of what I have before I start uh, riding today. And we're gonna put in some, put the GoPro on and get some footage for uh, for you guys as well on the track. I have the 72 volt, 42 amp hour battery from EBMX. So this is the chart from Charge Cycle Works, but it's an EBMX battery paired with the EBMX X9000. Um, and then it also has the stock motor as well. That's still stock. Uh, pretty much everything else is still stock. You know, suspension, linkage, everything is that. This is all stock as well. The only thing that's aftermarket is the chain drive I put on this thing. So I put the chain drive on here for a uh, kind of a strength add-on to deal. Because um, I think the first ride I had with this thing on, it was pretty much, you know, it sheared right off within like two minutes of riding it. All the fins from the belt drive sheared off. So, you know, I figured I got to replace it anyway. So why not, why not place it? Uh, replace it with something stronger and more durable and if I do have to change it I don't have to take apart the whole back end to change it. So other than that, that's pretty much the Suron that I have um, You know, it's pretty much stock besides those three things and I love it so far um, So hopefully I didn't just jinx it and just you know totally break the thing in half right now But anyways, we're gonna go uh, on the big track and ride with some of these uh, moto bikes out here the um, petroleum fueled bikes out here like so and uh, see if we can keep up with them or if not pass them but like I said this is probably the perfect combination of power you really need because this thing will hit pretty much all the jumps on the big track right now except for the fly off over there and then maybe the schoolboy jump on the other side of this building right here but other than that it can hit all these like 50 foot tables and doubles like super easily so anyways we're gonna get going with this thing gonna strap on the GoPro and uh, go for a little ride with you guys you guys are probably gonna notice that it's a little bit louder than a normal Suron with a belt drive. The chain does a little bit, makes a little bit more noise, but it's not, it's not terrible. Um, considering if you're just coming off of like a, if you're a moto guy, you know, you're used to the engine noise anyways, and the exhaust and whatnot. But um, yeah, I know a lot of the other guys, like the street guys, if you had not really, you know, ride dirt bikes or anything like that they think it's stupid loud but i think it's, it's not bad at all um obviously because i come from a motocross background and i race and ride dirt bikes all the time anyway so it's not really a big deal to me at least i'm gonna do a couple of laps y'all quit talking taste of what this thing is I know again it's kind of hard to tell on you know the screen and on video how fast you're going but this thing will literally pick up like any speed you want if you're going like 50 miles an hour I swear to god if you're going 40 50 
you just whack the throttle, it, it, the front end will pick up for sure. Um, this thing has plenty of power to hit. Probably anything you can throw at it, but the other downside is the suspension. You know, you don't want to hit these huge jumps on stock suspension. You're going to snap it in half or anything like that. This is, a uh, what, December? This is in December. We're riding in December right now in upstate New York. Look at that. Saturday, uh, the 16th of December. Track looks mint right now. It's like 40 degrees, 45 degrees. Track looks sick. Even just on the Pewe track, like, this thing has like, uh, the X9000 has three different modes in sport mode, or sorry, race mode and street mode. Right now I'm currently at mode one. In this mode one, I have it tuned at uh, 10 kilowatts, um, 500 phase amps. So again, that's really, that's the lowest tune I have on this thing freaking with. Mode three, I have it in, I think that's 15 kilowatts and like 700 phase amps. So I always ride in, the mode one because that's literally all you need just 10 kilowatts um you know 500 phase amps and my i swear guys this is more than enough if you want to have fun um it has so much torque so much power it's uh ridiculous it can hit all these jumps so easily um so it, it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy what this thing can pump out power wise um like i said i never even leave mode one i always keep it in mode one and you know I never really rode in mode two or three, um, just for the fact that personally I don't need any more. Because this thing, any more power, you're just looping it, or you're just over jumping everything. Yeah, you might think that 10 color watch is a lot, and a lot of these batteries and controllers can get up to 15 and whatnot, but you know, it's. Uh, Trust me, 10 is plenty enough for me. And I, like I said, I've been riding and racing my whole life. I have 450s and this thing is, is, is pretty peppy for the most part. And anyone that's been to uh, Hogback Hill, you know, they know, you, you obviously know the size of these jumps and whatnot that you can do on this thing. So it's kind of, just put that in perspective and put that in your mind and just consider like how big these jumps are and whatnot. And to jump them on a Suron is just stupid. So, all right, I'm gonna shut up now. I think I did enough talking. Oh. That's what I mean. I just ain't thinking. I think these breaking bumps are pretty good too. Oh dude, you can for sure jump this. I don't want to. That's because this thing is, the stock suspension is still kind of, you know, stock and it's not the greatest. But my God, you might have to revisit that. Playful too. Oh, a little short on that one. Again, I'm still kind of used to that 450 where you can just whack it at the bottom and get right over. Fifty foot double, double, forty, fifty footer, right out of a corner, onto another double. Like dude. That's nuts. And 
in just like that. Let's see if we can keep up with Kyle. And the high speeds, but everything else says I, I can keep up with them, you know? So this thing's perfect. corner pretty good but it's not like a you know a big bike 
So I don't feel too confident leaning it over, but it went through that one pretty good.